morning. This is your butterfly, and I'm coming to you live from the parking lot. Like I always do. It is Friday, y'all. So y'all know I'm glad about it because I'm getting ready to have a busy weekend. I heard a story yesterday on social media and there was a lady who was talking about one of her friends. She was saying that the friend is currently married and she's pregnant and her husband is in the military and he has been deployed for I think six or eight months. Now he has a child that he had in a, from a relationship or possible marriage prior to her friend marrying this um military person well the husband called his son who is i think six years old and told the son okay i'm gonna be back home on this day blah 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 this is what time i'm getting in well his i'm gonna just say his ex-wife his ex-wife called the new wife and say hey um do you want to meet halfway and i can give you i'm just gonna say jim i can give you jim and y'all can meet the dad when he gets uh you know off the ship however they do that she said, oh, no, that won't be necessary. So the ex-wife wasn't really understanding. And she was like, well, uh, he called him and told him he was going to be here at this time, whatever. And I know you're going to be there to meet him. And uh, Jim wants to see his dad. So can we meet halfway and you can take him so that he can see his dad when he gets off the ship? He's been going. So he was like, oh, no, I want to have a private moment with my with my husband when he comes in. So, no, that won't be necessary to get your son. Well, the ex-wife felt somewhere about that. And she called her ex-in-laws, who I'm assuming she still has a um, cordial, friendly relationship with and told them what happened because she was a little upset that she would not be open to getting the son so that the son could see the dad well i don't know if the ex-wife was open to taking the son herself but the new wife was adamant that she didn't want anybody there not even his family she wanted to be there with her pregnant stomach and just um share a moment with her husband by himself so the friend who was telling the story said she told a friend you knew you dead ass wrong evidently he wanted his son to know so that his son could be there he knew his son would be excited about seeing him and you're wrong for not including the son in his homecoming. The friend couldn't understand it. She was like, no, we're having our own, we're having our own baby. And I want to have a moment with my husband by myself. So the friend asked her friend, she said, hey, you know, in the six months he's been gone, have you tried to get the son on the husband's weekends to keep him engaged in life with you? You know, just because she was like, oh, no, I don't do that. I don't have anything to do with him. Long story short, her friend told her she was dead ass wrong. And she should include this son in this homecoming for his dad. Because obviously the dad wanted him to know when he was coming home. So to get in the comments, let me know. Do you think the current wife was wrong? Now, mind you, the friend, uh, the wife, the current wife told her friend that her in-laws called her and read her the riot act and asked what the hell was going on. Why you don't want anybody else to be there when he comes in, especially his son. So she said she didn't like the fact that the in-laws gave her the riot act. <laughs> so let me know, do you think she was wrong? Now, they all know when he's coming in, so I just don't know why the mom won't take the son and the in-laws won't they just have to all be there and he gonna see them all at the same time whether they've coordinated it with the wife or not and i think everybody should have the son's best interest at heart and he should be able to see his dad and experience his dad coming back home that's just my opinion i think the wife have a shitty attitude about the whole situation so y'all let me know get in the comments do you think the current wife was wrong and if you were in the ex-wife's position and the family's position what would you do well y'all know what i gotta do i gotta get in the building and go make the donuts and i'll talk to y'all later bye